Good morning, my name is Mark, I'm with Ropa Boat. I'd like to present to you the automatic boat loader. The automatic boat loader was designed to make boat loading a one person job, prevent the need for power loading, make it easy for Power loading causes a lot of damage to our boat ramps across the country. The force of the boats causes a rapid erosion, sucking the sand out from underneath the cement slab, causing it to crack. Also, it creates a mound of sand off to the back of the ramp, letting you back into it once you unloaded your boat. If we were to stop power loading, we could preserve our boat ramps for the future generations and make fishing better for all. The rope boat system comes in three boxes. The first box is the guidons. The guidons are adjustable to many different frames and trailers. They adjust width, angle, and height. The electric winch is a three compartment winch designed specifically for this. It's a wireless remote winch. It has a light, electric brake, and emergency handle. It also has a manual cord that can be plugged in if the remote is lost. Also is the rope system. The rope system is specific to your boat and that is determined by the size of your eye bolt. There's two sizes of eye bolts predominantly used throughout the industry. There's an inch and three quarters and two and three eighths. That's an outside measurement top to bottom. You can measure that and that's how you would size the system to your boat. I'd like to start with the installation of the guidons first. As you open the guidons, there'll be a package with all the hardware and instructions for installation. These are frame extensions. The frame extensions mount to your trailer's frame. You use U-bolts to mount it to the trailer's frame. You may choose to put it in the middle of your boat or towards the back of your boat. It depends on what your preference is on loading and unloading of your boat. I suggest putting it furthest to the back of the boat because this will ensure you to get the straightest load and the easiest load every time. Simply take your frame extension, put it against your trailer's frame, slide the U-bolts over top of your frame, using 11 16 ratchet, tighten all bolts. When installing from one side to the other, put the frame extension in the same location on the trailer. The angle set mounts to the frame extension. Included in the package is bolts for mounting the angle set. The angle set may be mounted in two fashions. This way or turn 180 degrees this way. The difference is the width of your boat. Some boats cantilever over the frame further than others. If you need the extra width, you may turn the angle set in this fashion and it will extend further out on the boat. Using the bolts with the two washers, we're going to mount the angle set. Place the bolt in the front hole. This positions you the distance from your boat. You may choose how far you'd like to be away from your boat and that is the customer's preference. I'd like to now install the roller guide on onto the angle set and then we can finally adjust it to the boat. When you look at your rollers, when you install them, the roller needs to be towards the boat and the open side of the pulley towards the front of the trailer. To install the roller guide onto the angle set, simply slide over top the pipe. As you'll see, there's many adjustment holes for the height to be set. We'll set that once we have the angle set. With your angle set, you may tighten your bolts. With the angle set mounted, now we may set the height of the roller guide on. The roller guide on height is set to the eye bolt. What you'd like to do is look at the eye bolt's height compared to the trailer. And then you will raise the roller guide on to that height or a little bit higher. With the roller guide ons installed, now you may do the other side at the same height and same position. With the guide ons installed, now you may install the winch. Simply remove the existing winch on your trailer and replace it with the electric winch. The electric winch comes with two wireless remotes to operate the winch, power cord, manual cord just in case the wireless remotes are lost. Included in the instructions is a template for mounting. The template may be used to ensure that your hole pattern is correct to match our electric winch. Simply lay it into location and follow the holes for drilling new holes if required. You may access the front bolt through the front door. Place the bolt inside the slit down here, preparing it to mount onto the trailer. To install the bolts to the rear of the winch, there's been an access panel installed. These access panels simply slide sideways and it gives you access to install the bolts at the rear of the winch. With the bolts installed in the winch, now you may mount to the winch stand. Place on winch stand, locate the bolts, place nuts on and tighten. With the winch mounted and the guide ons mounted, now you may install your bow latch. The bow latch replaces your eye bolt. The eye bolt is specific to your boat. There's two different sizes, an inch and three quarters and two and three eighths. You must first identify which size you have and pick the correct one when purchasing a system. 
To install the bow latch, you must first remove the boat's eye bolt. The eye bolt may be accessed through the top of your boat or through a cabinet, depending on your boat's brand. The bow latch replaces the eye bolt. The bolt pattern of the bow latch is the same as the bolt pattern of the eye bolt. Simply remove your eye bolt. The release cable will go up through the hole and the bolt pattern will match. No drilling required, simply replace the nuts. The final step to installation is installing the rope system. The rope system is fed through the D-clip along the boat to the guide-on. You feed the rope into the pulley from the outside going in towards the boat. Pull the excess rope through the pulley, bringing the rope back up to the D-clip. Before attaching rope to the D-clip, you must first feed the rope through the guide tube. Once the rope has been fed through the tube, you may now attach to the D-clip. Feed rope through the eyelet and pull slack through. With the rope fed through the D-clip, now you want to splice the rope. What you want to do is go approximately three to four feet back from the D-clip, take a clamp, feed through the center of the rope, open clamp, hook on rope, and feed through rope. Pull the excess rope through. Once the rope is spliced, you want to take the slack out of the rope. In order to take the slack out of the rope, compress the slack adjuster. In order to compress the slack adjuster, pull forwards. As the slack adjuster is compressed, take the slack out of the rope. With the rope fed, you'll cut off the excess rope. With the rope spliced and the tension set, you must follow the same procedure on the other side, ensuring that the rope is equal. After the rope is installed on both sides, you may install the guide tubes. To install the guide tubes, Feed the free end of the rope into the tube, sliding the tube up onto the rope. Bring to D-clip and slide onto D-clip. Now we've completed the rope installation, I'd like to show how you can power up the unit. You can either get power from your truck or a battery box that can be installed. I'd like to show how you install a battery box. This is the optional battery box offered by Ropa Boat. All the hardware included. Battery is not included, uses a small lawn and garden battery. To mount battery box, simply put on the frame where your location is. Insert bolt. Add a backer. With the bolts and brackets in place, you may tighten all bolts. With the battery box installed, now you may put the battery in. Battery sets inside. There's a clamp to hold the battery. To install the wire, simply plug into the winch. Bring cable down through the side hole and cover. Pull excess wire in and clamp battery leads to the correct post. After installation is complete and ropes are adjusted, the Ropaboat system is ready to be used. If you have any questions, please contact Ropaboat or go to ropaboat.com. Enjoy more time on the water and less at the landing. Thank you.